Hello and welcome to Infinity. We've been looking at brushes here, and there's one we can look at now, which is down here. It's one of the lowest brushes, and it says in painting brush here. If you can't see that there, right click it. See the little triangle, of course? We right click on that. We've got more in here, and there it is. You might see one of the others. So we click on that. And this is a brush. It's got the usual thing brushes have got. It's got width, opacity, and hardness. And we don't worry about all the other things for now. And what we can do is we can come down to something like this. I can use left and right square bracket to do this. Hardness of 56%, which is just approximately halfway, is about right for a lot of things. And then I paint over this guy here. And so I'm overlapping, always making sure that it's completely covered. And then when I let go, we wait for the magic and the power is gone. Isn't that amazing? And I can paint over this one here and see if we can get rid of all these people. And a tip with this is you do a bit at a time. Often you try to do a lot and you confuse it because basically it's going to look around it and see what can I replace it with. This one's a bit tricky because he's connected to this chap down here. He's just touching. And if I zoom into that, you can see there's bits left there. So I can just give a single click on it to say, go and try and fix that bit again. There's a bit like this you don't like. You can click that. Change the, the mouse side as you need it. Now, what about this one here? Because he's got against the tree. It's going to work out this. So I'm going to make the mouse a little bit smaller and try and be a little bit more accurate. Always open overlapping. So it literally goes around the outside. You just want a little bit around, but I'm going to have to go over the tree as well. See if it can figure out whether we can get rid of him. So I let go of the mouse and wow, there you go. Look, it's, it's the tree is intact. Let's be ambitious here. Let's use this one up here. Can I get rid of those three? That's not bad, but you can see what it's done there. See, it's copied one there and one there, and it starts to look, well, that's a bit suspicious, two of those. So we can just click on one of those again, see if that'll get rid of it. No, it's not. See, it's, it's sort of moved it along because it's copied from here. How about if I could click on this one? Is that going to do anything? No, it's not working because it's trying to copy from over there. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just goes completely strange. So you've got to watch out for things like that. So maybe if I try painting a bit more here, sometimes adding a bit more to it, 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 it works. No, look at that, it's just duplicated that again. So Control Z to undo. But there you go, that's the basic principle. When it's got space around it, it can work out. You can just try to read its mind and it can do something. But sometimes it, it, it'll just make a whole mess of things. So get ready to undo it. I mean, look at another brush next, which you have got a lot more control over what happens when you're erasing things from your picture like this. Anyway, that's it. So thank you very much for watching.